How's it guys? So today we're going to show you how to brew with the Year Brew Starter Kit. So okay, so for, for the brew day you will not require all the bottles, so we're going to put them aside, the bottles, and you, in the brew kit you get a small packet of priming sugar that would be used on bottling day. So we're going to set aside all the bottles for now and uh, get brewing. As well as the bottling wand. All of that and the caps is for bottling day, which we will show you in the next video. Okay, so first you would want to mix a sanitizer solution to sanitize everything that's going to be in contact with the beer. In the starter kit we give you a sanitizer bottle like this with the instructions at the back how to mix and dilute it with water. You use 10 milliliters of sanitizer with 10 liters of water. So we've prepared some water, just clean tap water in this bucket. We're going to squeeze 10 milliliters out of this bottle like so and add that into the water just give it a nice stir with your spoon and you can leave the spoon in there now if you don't have another bucket uh, to mix the sanitizer in you can use your fermenter which is fine because you have to uh, sanitize your fermenter anyway but it's nice to have the sanitizer li liquid in another bucket to sanitize your bottle caps and all your equipment you're going to use like after you've emptied your bucket for brewing. So now we're going to firstly sanitize our bucket. So we will add this. Liquid into there. So you add your liquid into your fermenter, which is the main item you want to sanitize first. Get all the walls sanitized nicely. Now the sanitizer has got a contact time of one minute and it's a no rinse sanitizer, so you don't have to rinse the fermenter out after sanitizing. And that's where the extra fermenter comes in handy or bucket where you can now transfer the liquid back into that bucket so that we can use the fermenter. Try to get as much foam as possible out of the fermenter. Okay, then we'll just set that there for now. Then you're gonna get working onto your beer can that's included in your kit. Now normally we include a lager, today we're going to brew the Queensland the Bitter. So you remove your cap and underneath the cap you'll find a small packet of yeast which you're going to set aside for now and that you'll pitch when the temperature is ready. So on brew day you'll have to prepare beforehand 20 liters of water. If your tap water is drinkable, you've got good municipality water, you can use that. We normally just go out and buy 20 liters of filter water. You're gonna need a scissor to open your packets of beer enhancer and yeast, and obviously a can opener. So you can sanitize all of these items as well. You put the scissor in there. The bubbler can go, your airlock bubbler can go into the liquid. The can opener. So then we're going to open the can. Now you can add the can into a bowl of warm water just to get the liquid running a bit smoothly when you add it to your fermenter or you can just after you add it to your fermenter add a little bit of warm liquid into the can and rinse it out nicely. So you're going to need two liters of warm water to dissolve your brewing sugar. We've just uh, boiled two liters in our kettle which we're going to add 
to the fermenter. Leaving a little bit in there to rinse our can. Uh, we're gonna start with the brewing sugar that's, that you're gonna get. You might get a brewing sugar number one or a number two, depending on what can is in your kit. Uh, the lighter beers uses a number one. is just to dissolve this brewing sugars. Just give it a good stir with your sanitized spoon. Until there's no clots or lumps. Then you add the whole can of syrup, which is malt extract. Giving it a good stir as you pour. said you've got some residual extract left in the can which you can rinse out with some more water Now guys, this mixture is called wort. It's not beer yet until it's fermented. So you can give the wort a nice good stir. It's good to get the oxygen into the wort because the yeast needs the oxygen to grow in the beginning phase. Um, after you've mixed it up and there's no lumps, you can start by adding your cold water. Now we're adding cold water because the yeast needs to be at a temperature of about 20 degrees before you can pitch the yeast. So if you add hot water, you're going to have to wait a while before you pitch the yeast. And on these 25 litre buckets, 23 litres is right on the rim there. So now we've added 15 litres, keeping in mind that your can displaces 1.7 litres and we had 2 litres in our kettle. So we're up to the mark now, just giving it a good stir again. Then we can add our packet of yeast into the sanitizer solution just to make sure there's no bacteria on the outside of the packet. Sanitize our scissor bag. I think I'll add the... Uh, bucket on top here. And you can see on our temp strip that the temperature is on 24, which is in the range of the yeast. As long as you are between 20 and 26, you are good to pitch your yeast. So we will go ahead and pitch our yeast. So 
So after you've pitched the yeast, you're gonna make sure that your lid is properly sanitized on the inside. Guys, you can also get a little spray, water spray bottle and mix some of this uh, sanitizer into the bottle and you can spray surfaces quite easily. You can now close up your fermenter. It's not necessary to stir the yeast in. Uh, it's not going to be a problem if you do so, you can. We just sprinkle it on top and leave it to do its job. Then you close your lid nice and tight and before you add your airlock you would want to take a gravity reading. Uh, included in your starter kit you get a measuring cylinder. Uh, if, you, if you leave the airlock in while doing this it would suck the sanitizer into your wart. So you want to fill it up to about 100 mils and then get a equal surface for the cylinder to stand on and then let your hydrometer float in the wood which will give you your starting gravity and at the moment we are on it's difficult to see in the camera I'm sure But we are on 1040, 10.46, which is almost at 10.50. It's really a, uh, a good starting gravity, which would end up in about a 4.8% beer. So the, you will take a gravity reading after your seven day fermentation again, and again on day 10. If those two readings are the same, which is going to be around at 10.008, uh, then your fermentation is complete and you can move on to bottling. We're going to show you in the next video how we bottle this batch and we take it from there. So then we're going to add our airlock which was lying in the sanitizer solution. Uh, there's markings on the airlock where you have to fill it up to. So at the moment we are too full which means you will just get foaming and bubbling out of the airlock on top. So we're going to pour a little bit out, like so, put the cap on top and put it into the grommet, nice and tight, like so, and then you leave it to ferment. If it's uh, not your first brew, it's always nice to enjoy one of your previous batches while brewing. Cheers guys, enjoy the new hobby.